I'm Laurel, and I'm married uh, to my husband Scott, and I have three kids. Uh, two girls, Alexis is 15, Melina is 13, and then our youngest, Lincoln, is 10. And um, they have been a huge part of my journey. I couldn't talk about my life without including them. Things were going well. Um, my sister and I actually have a blog and we were busy getting ready for a big event that we were planning on um, putting, putting on. This last October I felt a lump in my left breast. Right away I talked to my husband about it and while he wasn't concerned, he encouraged me to get to the doctor in short order and I'm glad that I did that. The unfortunate part of it was the wait time to get in for those tests. It took about two and a half months for me to get in and during that time of waiting, I really struggled. I found myself talking to God a lot. I talked to him about how I was a wife and a mom and that my kids needed their mom. So about 10 years ago, after our third child was born, I developed a hyperactive thyroid and that came with a lot of other health issues. So there was a number of years there where we were trying to figure out what was wrong with me and um, it was quite a dark time in my life. So those years were learning years for me and years where I reached out to God because I felt very not in control of my life. In December, I had my tests and uh, a couple days later they phoned me back and said that my ultrasound did uh, have some concerns and they wanted me to go for some further testing. So eight days later, uh, my husband Scott and I went to receive the results and I remember sitting in the room because we had to wait for a while and I remember Scott trying to keep the mood light and I did look at him and say, you know, worst case scenario, what if, what if it is cancer? Three people entered the room, two doctors and a nurse and I, I knew then that the results weren't good. I didn't think it would take three people to tell me that I was fine. And I think after that word cancer was spoken, I didn't hear very much. He's doing quite a bit of work for us now. Hey, he's awesome. Um, the days that followed were a blur. I'm so grateful for you know my family and my friends who just surrounded me with love and prayer. Instead of letting my mind um, go to the worst case scenario, which I can tend to do, I had to sink myself into the truth. The second part of that, and even more so important for me, was sinking myself into the truth of what I knew to be true about God and what his promises are for me. The first is that God is sovereign, so none of this was a surprise to him. He knew about this long before I did and had been preparing me for it. One of my favorite passages in the Bible is Isaiah 43, where it says that God has chosen me and precious to him. He redeemed me. I can walk through the fires and I will not be burned. And that passage means so much to me because it doesn't mean that there won't be fires. There still will. But he will not allow me to be burned. And that's the most important. I can do everything with him. Another tool that I used was just immersing myself in worship music. Um, one of my friends talked to me about Bethel music and the first time I played it in my car I just broke down because I felt like some people that I didn't even know had written a song just for me. <laughs> had a lot of people ask me how my faith has been affected through this and if I you know, am bitter that God allowed cancer into my life and I, I am not at all. First of all, I know that God didn't make me get cancer. <laughs> he's allowed it, um, but he's for me. He's on my team. A friend actually 
actually sent me an email and it really helped me sort out how I was going to take on this journey. And um, she explained to me that battling in the worldview that we have of it is aggressive and destructive and chaotic and, and that really didn't fit me. And she said, um, what if we looked at it differently in the light of our relationship that we have with Jesus? What if we looked at it that battling for, your, for you, Laurel, means you put on your armor, but your armor isn't something rough and tough. Your armor is something soft and gentle. What if battling to you meant wrapping yourself in a blanket, the blanket of God's love, and letting Him do the fighting for you? I had ideas from movies that I'd seen that I felt that chemo was probably the worst thing that anyone could go through. And that is where prayer became such a huge tool for giving me strength. I felt frustrated about prayer. I didn't know what to say to God. And then I started thinking, I thought, well, God knows what I'm thinking anyways, and he knows what's gonna happen anyways, so is this a fruitless exercise? You know what? I went to that first chemo treatment, and I made it. It was okay. I'm so grateful for that, but I do attribute that to prayer. And that's not to say that there were days that weren't really difficult. There were there were days where um, my spirits were low, but that's life. Life isn't good every day, but life is still full of joy. And that's been the difference, is to still find joy in amongst the circumstances. This experience has changed me. I don't know that you can go through any type of crisis without coming out a little bit different and, and I'm not at the end of it yet. And so I know that there still are some changes that will probably need to be made in my thinking and, and how I view things. Um, but God is just using this time, it's crazy. I know on an everyday basis, I look at things differently. Some small things still really bother me, and I still need to work at that. But there are some things that really don't matter anymore. And people might think that I seem, you know, not caring about the details, and that's not it. It's just, of course, things get put into a different perspective, and you see things through a different lens. I look back 23 years ago, I met Scott, and 23 years ago, God had my back. He knew who I would meet on my journey. And he's never wavered. Never. And I'm so grateful to have a partner who loves me and who loves Jesus. That can help me through this. And I don't know where this journey will take me. And I don't know if years down the road there'll be something else. Um, but I do know that God will be with me it all. He never leaves me. A common thread through it is, is joy and, and that I can still feel joy and that's not for me because humanly there's a lot of reasons why I could be pretty unhappy. It's the joy of the Lord and that's what gives me strength. It does and it helps me through the hard days and um, it is just the reason why I feel joy is is because of my relationship with the Lord.